How am I feeling about the hustle? Um, well, obviously, you know, this is the screening. I was really, really nervous because, um, you know, you might think that it's really dope, but everybody else might think that it's not, you know. And the feedback has been really amazing. I think that people have been waiting for a show like this for the longest time. People are very excited um, to see something like this. The quality is amazing. It's a great opportunity to give, like, up-and-coming artists a leg into the industry and just kind of, like, an opportunity to, to step in and give and... and, and and get a chance that, that a lot of us never got as, you know, as MCs, as like, you know, up and coming artists. One thing that, that people need to think about is, or they need to realize that anything is possible. You know, um, people, I think once they've seen the show, will really think about how they produce TV shows and, you know, the concepts that they come up with. Because there's a lot of things uh, that, we've been, that we've been doing, a lot of hard work, a lot of thought has gone into this entire show. Um, but more than anything, people will understand that we are trying to, as famous as we might think we are, we're also trying to uplift other people and give others an opportunity to be as great as we are, you know? And um, there's a lot of talent that we haven't really, really seen. So this is a great opportunity to, you know, find new talent. I think, you know, it's, it's a hip-hop show. Like, essentially, it, it is a talent show, but it's a hip-hop show. And, uh, you know... Hip hop is edgy, man. You know, I mean, like, yo, they, they, there's gonna be a lot more cursing. There's gonna be a lot more unscripted moments. There's gonna be a lot more, like, you know, I mean, oh, also for me, it, it feels like it demystifies a lot, a lot of the things about hip hop that people think they might know because they just know Basta rhymes or they just, you know, the things like, yo, you actually, there's a, there's a skill to this thing. There's actually like, te te technical things that an MC or, or an artist should know. You know what I mean? Getting into this, yo. Uh, well, you know, to be honest, I, I think that, um, you know, if we look back at last year, South African hip hop had an amazing, amazing year. Um, everybody's really, really stepped at their game. And I think that now people understand what it means to have competition. Like competition is actually good. It's not meant to hinder you or discourage you. More than anything, it's, it's meant to motivate you and make you a better rapper and a better artist, you know? I think, you know, if we had to compare South African hip hop, I mean, there is actually no comparison because we have different backgrounds, we have a uh, different culture, we have a history, we have different experiences. And I feel like it's important as rappers to rap about those experiences, not just bitches and, and money and cars and, and all those kind of things. I think what makes South African hip hop different is, you know, particularly, as for South African market, it's stuff that we can relate to, man. Like when someone makes a song called Kara Kara, like there are hoods and there are people here who go, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? When they hear a song like that, when someone, you know, called Youngster from Cape Town makes a song about, you know, the bras, you know what I mean? It's like, oh shit, okay, that's, you know, that's, yo, I'm from, I'm from, I'm from Mitchell's Play, you know what I mean? And, and that's exactly what, I, I, a lot of what what we're looking for in the show it's like you know we look at an artist and we're like okay cool he ticks all the boxes he's talented he's dope but this guy sounds like little wayne it's we might as well just go buy little wayne and not mess with this kid you know what i mean so what is what are you bringing to the table that speaks to your experience that speaks to where you've come from you know what i mean Ah, uh, okay. I like all three of the judges they bring you know uh you know different kind of um elements to the show they have different styles they're obviously looking for different things they're all really really funny but aka is the best he is like really really funny and entertaining um you might actually think that he's probably the meanest judge ever but he's actually not the meanest judge you know i look i mean aka shouldn't have been on a show because you know i think essentially if you if you look at if you look at like He's really, I mean, what, what he, I think he has like three years in the game, I think, like, you know what I mean? So it's, it's really not a, not a, 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 there's no justification for having a light-skinned, you know, the preemie in the game, really, like a preemie. So, yeah, definitely AKA is really funny. Where are you guys from? Uh, we're from Zalebs.com. Zalebs. Why not? Sorry guys, can't do it to go to lips. Can't do it. I should be judging AK. I should be saying, yo, AK, run Josie, nah. You know what I mean? Like, yo, two more choruses in that song. You know, something like that, you know? Tumi's also really funny. Kuli Chana, you know, I don't understand anything he says. I mean, I do like, you know, yeah, I, I listen to English rappers, you know, so. Kuli's like, you know, he's okay. 